Hi, I'm Matt Dean. I'm here with Occupy Burlington and Occupy Speaks. Uh, Occupy Speaks is a series of videos that is aimed to teach you a little something about the way the world works and why Occupy is doing what it's doing and why we need your help. Uh, the first topic I think we should talk about is corporations because they've been causing a lot of the problems. The entire economic meltdown is at the fault of the corporations because their singular goal is to maximize profit. Now the problem with this comes when maximizing profit becomes more important than obeying laws. There are laws that we use to regulate corporations so that they don't swindle people, steal money outright, or just do any number of underhanded tricks that we've seen the big banks do or corporations like Enron back in the day. Uh, you know, the, the list of examples for these companies just swindling the American public is outstanding. And I urge you to look them up on your own sometime, and I'll include some links under this uh, video so that you can look up some of the examples that I'm going to talk about here. Uh, one of which is when a particular bank um, intentionally sold bad investments to a number of its investors, uh, ones that they knew were doomed to fail. Uh, this happened a lot um, during the subprime crisis and was one of the main reasons that all that happened. In this particular instance, the, uh, the investors brought them to court and proved that they defrauded them for what turned out to be almost a billion dollars. Uh, the settlement, the fine that was put down on this bank was only a few million. Yeah, they got fined. Yeah, it went through court and they were pro it was proven that they ripped them off. But in the end, they still made a net profit. They still profited off of that malicious action. And that's why they continue to do it. Because if they can keep making money at it, why stop? You know, even if I get caught, I still get to make profit. And that's their only directive. That is the only thing we hold them accountable to do is to make profit. And that's a problem. That's why they break the law. That's why they rip us all off. That's why they screw us all over. It's because that's the only thing that we make them do. And it's good for the shareholders sometimes until they rip them off and, you know, fall out because there's non-liability. But, you know, that's that's an issue you can look up for yourself because what I really want to talk about here is the idea of benefit corporations. And the idea of benefit corporations is a new idea that came apart in the last two years. Uh, came around in the last two years, rather. Um, it started with a few states in 2010. It's moved into my state of North Carolina just recently, and I'm happy that it's starting here. And there are many benefit corporations operating already. And here's what you should know about them. Um, their their purpose, and I'm reading all of this off of Wikipedia. I'll, exp I'll I'll give a link for that as well. Their purpose is to create general public benefit, and this can be specific to whichever corporation you know. You know, particularly say uh, one corporation wants to help restore the rainforests. Well, that's their directive, and that's what they're going to do with their profits, or, or a significant portion of their profits. And if we can find that they aren't helping the rainforests, well, you know, we can, we can hold them liable for that in the same way that you could hold a corporation now liable for not doing whatever it can to make profit, which is the only thing you can hold them liable for. These corporations, we can also, um, one of their other purposes is to have the right to name a specific benefit purpose, like sending 50% of their profits to charity, for example. This is another thing that they are made to do. And 50% of your, your profits to charity is a big contribution. I mean, we're not just talking about corporations that make people rich. We're talking about corporations that change the world for the better. And the creation of public benefit is in the best interest of the benefit corporation. And that's that's an interesting motive there as well. Uh, the as for accountability, this also differs tremendously because again, for all of these things that I'm about to mention, for a normal corporation, you can sum it up by saying to make money. Which three words: to make money. Nothing else is considered. Not ethics. Not accountability. None of that. The accountability of a benefit corporation. The director's duties are to make decisions that are in the best interest of the corporation. Well, that's pretty much the same thing as a normal corporation, but with this added on. Directors and officers shall consider the effective decisions on shareholders and employees, suppliers, customers, community, and the environment. Together, these are called 
the stakeholders. They also have a level of transparency that you don't see in corporations. They shall publish annual, annual benefit reports in accordance with the thir recognized third-party standards for defining, reporting, and assess assessing social and environmental performance. Benefit report will be delivered to the shareholders and to the public website with the exclusion of proprietary data. Basically, they don't have to tell you exactly, you know, how they're doing what they're doing. None of the trade secrets, but they do have to disclose all their finances and exactly what they're doing to to do the their purposes. Like they have to show, they have to be able to show you anyone that they are donating 50% of their profits to charity if that is the purpose of their corporation. Right of action. Only shareholders and directors have right of action, but right of action can be for violation or failure to pursue public benefit or general or specific or violation of stand violation of duty or standard of conduct which means you know basically they aren't fulfilling their purpose and in the and any of the shareholders or directors can check them on this and we the people since they're transparent can go in show that they're not doing this and urge the shareholders to do this um, the the change of control purpose and structure you shall require a minimum status votes of two-thirds in most states but slightly higher in a few and this this really depends on what state laws um, really come down to in the individual places where this is being voted in because this this is something that's being created on a state-to-state -state basis if you uh, should check um, and again I'll be providing the link to this Wikipedia which will show you exactly which um, states already have these laws and if your state doesn't you need to get them started because this is the wave of the future this is the way that things need to go if we want to end corruption if we want to end the destruction of our natural environment if you want to change all of these things if you want to make the big earners responsible to the little guy just as much as they are responsible to lining their own pockets this is the way to go um, Benefits of a benefit corporation. Benefit corporation laws address concerns held by entrepreneurs who wish to raise growth capital but fear losing control of the social or environmental mission of their business. In addition, the laws provide companies the ability to consider factors other than the highest purchase offer at time of sale, in spite of the ruling on Revlon Inc. versus McAndrews and Forbes Holdings Inc. Chartering as a business corporation allows companies to distinguish themselves as businesses with a social conscience and as one that aspires to a standard they consider higher than mere profit maximization for shareholders and that really cuts to the the big issue at hand here you know if your only concern is making profits you will screw over everyone if greed is your only motive then what incentive do you have to create jobs when less jobs and working your your uh, workers like slaves for less money will net you more profit, why would you hire more people? If uh, blatantly destroying the environment to get what you need is the cheapest way of doing business, what stops you from doing that? In fact, not even what stops you from doing that, but when you can be found legally accountable for not doing that, then you lose all motivation to do it. You know, some of these CEOs, some of these CEOs are certainly crooked bastards that really need to go down. I, I believe that, like a lot of Occupy believes that. But at the same time, they don't have to be. Because when you hold them legally accountable to do things that violate ethics, such as the examples I just listed, completely in the name of profits, then they will violate ethics in the name of profits. You're forcing their hand. If they were... Um, a benefit corporation they wouldn't be forced to do those things they would be forced to you know they could as this says distinguish themselves as a business with a social conscience and as one that aspires to a standard that they consider higher than mere profit maximization for shareholders this is about taking the greed out of corporations and I feel like that's one of the best things that we can do uh, you need to help this movement flourish Take it upon yourself to figure out 
what companies are local to your area, what companies are local to your state if your state doesn't have benefit corporation laws, help them get pushed through. Get these started in your own area. That's that's what I'm asking you. And besides that, stop going to corporations uh, for your goods, you know? You know, stop supporting Walmart. You know, go for the little guy. Because there, here's the other thing. Not all corporations are evil. You have to make a good amount of money screwing people over. You know, your profits have to be pretty high to overcome like an eight mil eight million dollar fine. You know, that worked for that, that big bank in the example that I listed, which by the way comes from a Rolling Stones article that I'll also link you to, just so you can see my sources on this. But um, if you're making hundreds of million dollars screwing people over for which there is an eight million dollar fine, of course you do it. But, you know, if you only make a couple million dollars anyways, if you're a smaller business or a smaller corporation, then you don't dare do that. You don't dare screw people over like that because that's just going to defeat your profit margin right there. So low profit businesses, that's what we need to be looking at, you know. The little guy, that's who we need to be supporting. And beyond that, the ones that we should help grow to be big, to, to actually do things for us, are these benefit corporations. Um, there aren't many of them right now, but if you find them, support them. And uh, I guess that's all for this uh, particular episode of Occupy Speaks. Uh, again, I'm Matt Dean. I represent, um, or I am a representative of Occupy Burlington, and I would love to see you uh, come back for future talks. Thank you.